I'm joined by with uh, Edmund Harty from Dairy Master. First of all, Dairy Master, fabulous, innovative business from here in Kerry. What do you do? Uh, we make a whole load of uh, technology for dairy farming for uh, for farmers all around the world uh, for basically producing the, the dairy products and, and the milk that's consumed by all of us uh, uh, every morning, uh, every lunchtime, uh, every tea time. You know? Fantastic. And it was interesting. You were talking here today. You you were up with a number of entrepreneurs talking about. Uh, building a business and how a business works. You said that building your business was a lot like uh, making a cake. Explain that one to yeah, us. Yeah, I suppose, I suppose when I was talking about innovation, I was saying to people, you know, it's, it's how you combine things together that make something uh, nice. So, in, for example, uh, in, the, in the case of, let's say, baking a cake, there's lots of different cakes you can have out there, uh, but it's how you make a cake that's nicer that uh, looks a bit better, maybe has nicer icing on it, has uh, different ingredients in it, that has a different taste to something else that's out there, but something really that your customer values. Mm -hmm. So in our case, it's about the technologies we combine, how we manufacture the products, uh, that make something uh, that, you're, you're, that your customer really wants and that you can actually sell them in the marketplace. Mm. And how important is, I mean, people talk a lot about innovation and there's yeah. a lot of buzzwords that go, go on, right. but, but talking about innovation and actually making and doing innovation are two yeah. very different things. How has your company gone about doing that and bringing that around the world as well? Uh, I suppose, first of all, it's about, it's about understanding your customer and really saying what, what makes one hell of a difference to your customer. Um, then it's about understanding what it is you can do as, a, as an individual or as a company and saying how, how, do, they, how do they really like that. So one of the, one of the examples that I gave earlier on uh, in the presentation uh, was around a product we called the Moo Monitor, which is an excess for measuring cow's health and fertility. And in fact, in just the last month, we've launched the next generation of that product uh, called the Moo Monitor Plus. And uh, this, is, this is actually the device here. Uh, it uh, comes along, it monitors what the cow is doing 24-7, mm. uploads that to the cloud every 15 minutes. Uh, it has a battery life of up to 10 years. Uh, and it's doing that for all the cows and the farmers herd. Mm. Why is that important? Uh, first, if you can figure out uh, when to breed a cow, that determines when a calf is going to be born mm. and when a cow actually starts producing milk. Mm. Uh, also, if a cow is sick, in the same way as people, if you look at their behaviour, the amount of time they're resting, they're feeding, what they're doing, you can determine is a cow sick. Mm. And the quicker you spot something like that, uh, the better the result. Mm. So these are the types of things that, that our customers value and uh, make their job easier, make the farm more profitable. It was interesting as well, you touched on it very briefly, but am I right in saying that you, init you incorporate 3D printing in your business and, and That's right, creating yeah. the products yeah, as well? Yeah, yeah. So, so you so use 3D printing oh, yeah, in your 3D, business? 3D printers are something that we use uh, each and every day. They're very important. Very, uh, they allow you to get your end results a lot quicker. It allows you to design a nicer looking product. Um, uh, much better than what you what you'd ever do before. Does that mean that you can develop prototypes on site now as well? Oh yeah, absolutely. I suppose traditionally we would have uh, say if we want to take something like this and we wanted to develop a prototype for it, we would use other processes. So we would machine this part, and it would typically maybe take several days uh, to to actually produce a, a prototype. Let's mm. say, or maybe even a week it might take us. Uh, now you might have it done in half an hour. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Well, the best of luck to you and, of course, Dairy Master over the next couple of years. Oh. And I'm sure we'll be hearing a lot more about you. Thank you very much. Thanks very much.